In this video, I'll review and install the Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope from Celestron. Now, every telescope has to have some means of pointing the telescope with the visual eye so you can get the general idea where you are at. So mine is 3D printed and it's an open source project. And uh, it had a basic finder scope like this and then you mounted it on the rods and then you could look down and you could eye it from, you could eyeball this point in this circle and get a, an idea of where it is. But it's not very accurate. There's no way to go up and down or right and left. And so it, it's okay to get started, no problem there. But it, it really is a bit frustrating, especially at high magnification, because you may be way off and there's just no way of correcting it. And you try to go back and find your object and it isn't there. And then you have to hunt and peck around and whatnot. So I found it to be a very frustrating uh, situation. So what I decided to do was upgrade it with the Celestron Pro Finder Scope. And this finder scope is really pretty neat. It's, it projects a laser image on the uh, glass in front and with two circles. And then you can adjust it right and left and up and down. And you can precisely align your telescope to what you see in the eyepiece. So let's start with seeing what's included in the kit. This is the small Schmidt cast grain bracket. This is the large Schmidt cast grain bracket. This is the small telescope with dovetail mount. And this is the small telescope with screw hole mount. Now how this works is very simple. There is a laser that projects an image onto this screen. And that allows you to precisely align your telescope with what you see through the lens. Here's the on off switch and as you turn it this way the image will go brighter and brighter. So in the daytime you have to have it quite bright, but at night you can turn it way down. The finder scope has an up and down adjustment, and that's this screw in the back right here. And it has a left and a right adjustment right here. So you can precisely align it with the actual image that you see. Each of these mounts will work in this universal bracket right here. So once you have one of these mounts aligned to your scope, just slide it forward and then just tighten this down like this. And that will secure it to your telescope. Now if you're using an application like this, this is Polar Scope Align. This will help you align it on a polar axis. Then you can select the same reticle here, and this is one of the round ones that you, in the list. Just go to Change Polar Scope Reticle. I've selected the Tailride Finder Regal Quick Finder. So there are many different ways that you can mount this. Some have even said just to get some double-sided tape and mount one of these to your telescope if you don't have any place for holes. But if you do have place for holes or you can adapt it or you have a dovetail mount, then you can just simply slide it on. For my telescope, I'm going to make a little adapter just so that it is easier to bolt it on and off without using any kind of tape. Okay, so my telescope has three rods. And so what I did is I went in and modeled this, and this has got three rods with a little platform on top and a couple of holes. And this will keep it nice and square and centered and aligned just perfectly with all of the rods. So basically it just goes on like this. Let me just bolt that on there. And um, so I think what I'll do is just take this off for now. And then just, I can just mount this on there. Just takes two, little half inch, 1024 when I'm using, 1024 by half.
And then I'll just go slip this on my scope and give it a whirl. Pretty simple. Okay, so here it is mounted on my telescope. And I took it out last night and I uh, aligned it with Saturn. And really this was so easy. It took me about five minutes. So I'm not gonna adjust anything now because it's just where I want to. But I just had to do a very minor correction up and down and right and left. And so that when I saw it through the eyepiece, did it exactly lined up. And then I moved it around and uh, the first time I did it I had a, a wide angle, about a 23 millimeter eyepiece. And then I put in this 10 to test it. And at high magnification it worked just beautifully. So this is an upgrade that I really have enjoyed and I do recommend. And it makes it so much easier to position at high magnification. So I'll put a product link in the description below and thanks for watching.